Welcome to Electra Online. Here's one of our questions that were received by one of our viewers. The name of the viewer, Birin San, and Birin San is from Adana, Turkey. And the question, how big is the universe? Well, turns out that that's not as easy to explain as you might think. The word enormous would come to mind, but that doesn't do it justice. How big is the universe? Well, one of the ways in which we're able to figure it out is by using the Hubble Space Telescope and by taking this picture right here called the Hubble Ultra Deep Field Picture. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that picture in just a moment. But if you take a look at this picture right here, that just about every dot that you see on this picture is a galaxy. Now, what is a galaxy? Well, a galaxy is a grouping of stars, a group of billions, sometimes hundreds of billions, even sometimes trillions of stars in a single grouping. And each one of these little dots is one of those galaxies. Now, how was this picture made? Well, it turns out that we took the Hubble Space Telescope and pointed in a particular direction where there's not a lot of nearby stars. And so we could peer through our own galaxy because that's one problem that we have is what to see the rest of the universe, we have to look past our own galaxy and we're kind of not quite in the middle but about 30,000 light years from the center of the galaxy so there's lots of stars around us so we need to be able to peer through those stars to see the edge of the galaxy and of course we don't want to look in a direction where there's a lot of close by galaxies because that would block the view of the farther galaxies so we have to pick a point where there's not a lot of stars and where there's not a lot of galaxies nearby and peer to the very distance of the universe and so imagine that you have a small little square like that from where you're sitting. And you look at this little square, and so the Hubble Space Telescope peered into space far, far away to see what was there. And of course, those galaxies are so faint that we have to leave the lens open for a very long time. It's called exposure time. And so the exposure time was about 11 days. Over a period of 11 days, the telescope, the Hubble Space Telescope, just collected the light waves coming from the far, far away galaxies. And after 11 days of exposure, this is the picture that came about. Now, they counted the number of galaxies on that one picture, and the number was around 10,000 galaxies on that single picture inside this little square. Now, of course, they could have repeated the exercise and they could have done it again in the square right next to it, and this square, and this square, and this square, and this square, and they could keep doing that for many, many years. Of course, the Hubble Space Telescope wouldn't last that long, but if you could do that all around in all directions, you would actually be able to count all the galaxies in the universe. Now, imagine if one of those little squares had 10,000 galaxies, then how many galaxies would there be in the entire universe? And so if you start adding up all those little squares and you go all the way around the ceiling, the floor, the walls, all four walls like that, and you cover it all with those little squares and you count 10,000 galaxies in each square, the result was that there were well over 100 billion galaxies in the universe. All right, now how big is a single galaxy? Well, we live in a Milky Way galaxy, which is kind of a spiral galaxy, which has a central bulge in the middle, and then it has some spiral arms, we're not quite sure how many of those. And we live inside one of those arms about 30,000 light years from the very center of our galaxy. So that's an example of a single galaxy that would be one of those dots on that picture. Now 30,000 light years means that it took light, it would take light 30,000 years to travel from where we are to the very center of the galaxy. The size of the galaxy from one end to the other end is about 100,000 light years again at the speed of light, which is 300,000 kilometers per second, or 186,000 miles per second, it would take 100,000 100, years for light to travel across a single galaxy. But again, that doesn't give you a very good feel for how big our galaxy is. Our galaxy contains about 250 billion stars, and we live near one of those stars called the Sun and we're about 93 million miles or 150 million miles away from that star. Now, if you imagine a galaxy with 250 billion stars like that forming this giant mass of stars, and remember, there's several hundred billion of those galaxies in our universe, then how big would our solar system be relative to the size of that galaxy? Well, one way to think of it is to say, let's say our galaxy was as big as the United States. 
then our solar system would be about as big as the kitchen sink in your house. So imagine there's a house right there somewhere in the middle of the United States, and you zoom into that house, and you zoom into the kitchen, and you find the kitchen sink. Our solar system would be the size of the kitchen sink in this vastness of space called a galaxy. And then in the kitchen sink, you would find a strainer. And here, we have a little strainer. And see the little holes in the strainer? The Earth's orbit around the sun would actually fit inside the holes of one little strainer if the one galaxy we live in was as big as the United States. And if you've ever driven across the country or flown across the country and you understand the vastness of it, then you understand that somewhere, if you were to fly over the United States with an airplane and you put this strainer right in the middle and then to realize that the Earth's orbit around the sun would fit into one of these little holes, you can imagine how vast a single galaxy is and then to realize there's hundreds of billions of galaxies spread out throughout the universe, I'm hoping, to be, I'm hoping you begin to realize and appreciate how big our universe actually is. And that's what we call the visible part of the universe because light can only have reached us from the very edge of the universe for as long as the universe has been around for about 13 and a half billion years. So if there's galaxies beyond what we call the visible limit of the universe, we cannot have seen those galaxies yet because the light could not have reached where we are yet. We would have to wait a few more billion years before light of farther galaxies will actually reach us. And so the galaxy is probably much bigger beyond the visible part of the universe, but if you only concentrate on the visible part of the universe containing hundreds of billions of galaxies, with each, each galaxy being that enormous, you can imagine we live in a very big place. And that's the best I can do in trying to explain how big our universe is.